collective energy hello 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 let's start out getting you some love messages please for the collective 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 Ooh. somebody is very protective of over you they don't want to see you get hurt here from a surface level relationship someone thinks this is not a real love connection they're trying to someone is protecting you from something here toxicity someone thinks that this person is low vibrational it's a toxic relationship let's see and ghosting it's unrequited someone's very protective over you somebody wants to talk to you who's very protective of you they don't like they think that the person you were dealing with was very toxic they think that yeah there's jealousy here they know that somebody wanted you to themselves it's like now they can go two ways here so someone who was being protective over you thought that you were in a toxic relationship and want to talk to you, uh, wanted to protect you from this person. The other way it could go is that this person is in a toxic relationship and is trying to poison someone because they want them to themselves. This is a player. No, somebody is protective over you. They know that this person is playing you. They know that this person is a player. Somebody could actually have fallen in love with you. Watching what your person was doing to you. Watching this person play you. thinking that they could give you true love, thinking that they could offer you true love. It's someone who is aware of your person and what they did to you. They're very protective over you. You might talk to this person, but in their mind, they think you're their true love. Like, this is a, a different person who is your true love, who is very protective over you and is trying to protect you from this toxic player. This is interesting. They know that this person is a habitual liar. They don't want to see you depressed, whoever this person is. They've been watching or observing, or they know your person, or they know you. And they're looking out for your best interest here. They are. They know that this person is a player. They've seen you get depressed. Yeah. They know you were deluding yourself with this person. They saw right through this person. They saw right through the fact that they were a habitual liar. They saw right through this person. And they are very protective over you. Ah.
you know what this person was trying to do? They were trying to get your person to confess what they were doing. They were trying to get your person to call you and confess. It is that person who could be your true love. Who is this person? Who is this person? They knew your person was cheating. It could be someone who you worked with. They've had an argument with your person. They've had an argument with your person about you. They called your person superficial. A habitual liar. This is this person. It could be a friend of whoever your person knows or this is a person who is your true love very protective over you there's a big fight and argument this is a person who you would call a friend or it could be someone who is simply your friend or a friend of your person's calling them out calling them a habitual liar calling them a player superficial they don't like how this person has treated you they look at you as someone who's very independent very confident they know you deserve better they know that this person hurt you and they know that this person probably rejected you and was treating you like crap. They look at you as beautiful. They look at you as a leader, an entrepreneur, someone very confident. They think that you deserve better than a superficial person like the person you were dealing with. This could be your true love. They know that your person was playing you. And they see you as home. Or they see you as someone who should be celebrated. They don't like the fact that this person hurt you. They know that this person was manipulative. This is a protector. Someone very protective over you. you the, from a player. <laughs> I don't know. This person wants you for themselves. At least that's what they're wishing. This person thinks about you a lot. And they know your person was arrogant and selfish. And they don't trust them. Look. This person thinks of you as the empress. Something special. 
something, someone who is deserving of much more than what this person was giving you. Just abandon you and betrayed you. Called your person a fool for betraying you. This person thinks that you're like this angel. They think that you were judged unfairly, treated unfairly. And look, they get angry. They get angry when other people talk about you. And they could be angry at this other lover for talking about you. Yeah. They're like, stop it. Stop talking about the collective. Stop talking about the empress. Someone's giving someone a piece of their mind. They're thinking that yeah, they are protective over you. This person respects you, honors you. Thinks you're a blessing. I think that this person would like to s extend an olive branch out to you. I think that they want to give you something, take you out for dinner, take you out somewhere they think that they can give you what this person cannot they want to communicate they'd be happy to communicate they're like oh jeez this person would love to commit to you. <laughs> they see you as someone they could commit to. They worry about you. And they stress out about you. They don't like what this person cheated on you. They don't like it. They were worried about it. They've been worried about it. They've been stressed out about it. Maybe how you were going to handle it. That's why they're waiting. They've been waiting. They see you as someone they would like to commit with. Maybe they've been waiting to see if you would date them or waiting to see if they you would get together with them or something. But I think this person has given you personal space. They have not encroached on you. They have not forced their way into your life, pushed you. They never would dream of it. This is somebody who... 
would like to extend an invitation to you to start dating you. They felt sorry that whatever the, they feel apologetic for how this person has treated you. They're in love with you, secretly been in love with you. But I think that this person wanted you to heal, has been waiting until you're healed. This person knows you're a hard worker. They would love to work with you, or maybe you worked with this person. They see you as very loving, very warm. See, they're not bothering you. This person is not bothering you. This person works very hard too. They know you're a hard worker and they work very hard. Jeez. They work with their hands, this person works with tools. I think that this person was jealous. That you were with this other person. Because they saw you as their happiness. There is someone secretly in love with you. You may have worked with them. They might have been like an acquaintance of yours or someone you exchange friendly gestures with. They're in love with you. And they hate your past person. They hate them. For the decisions that they made. This person defends you. Defended you too your past person defended you to other people. They're on your side. This person is on, they have chosen their side and they're on yours. They're trying to protect you from this devil energy. They could be at a distance from you. I think this person is alone. This person wants to communicate with you. And I don't really think you notice this person because you are all wrapped up in this person. Like, they might have been friendly to you or tried to talk to you, but I don't think you noticed this person because you were dealing with the other person. There is someone in love with you, and it is your true love. We can have many true loves in this lifetime. It doesn't have to be just one. This person loves you. There's a new interest here. Something is sparking a new interest here. This person loves you. 
and they hate your past person, they do not like your past person. They hate him. This person wanted you for themselves. Like, they could be friends. Or it is someone who you were on a working level friendship with. Like, just know them to say hello or casual conversation. This is a long-lasting bond you're going to make. They got right protective of you. Whoever this person is, they are really protective over you. And there is not going to be anybody who tries to hurt you when they're around. They will stand up for you. This is somebody who wouldn't hesitate. Take care.